Hey all, so this week Ultimate Hunting released a few things on their social media and if you want to know what it's all about then stick around because we're going to go through it. So the very first thing we got from Ultimate Hunting this week was this with a write-up. We heard a lot of names for this one. What do you call it? Now I know this is an elevated stand or an elevated lookout. Even though this is extremely basic, I am very impressed with the detail. Once again, you can see that they've used gum poles. It's strapped to concrete pillars so that the legs do not rot. Cross bracing, wooden ladder. This is going to be on the California map. Apparently there's going to be a different one for the African map. The one thing that I truly appreciate about this is the fact that you've got a clear line of sight for 360 degrees. Unlike some of the other games where one side is blocked off and you can't spot certain animals. This eliminates that problem even though it is basic like I said just now. I like it. Now moving on to the next thing we got. This one won't do huge damage but that's why it is used for certain purposes. Let's read through the ultimate hunting gear. 22 LR, category ammunition, type HP, SP, FMJ, caliber 22, grain 20 to 60 grain, trivia, designed in the late 1800s, occurring in various variations these days, effective on up to 150 yards on paper but tend to be less in practice, perfect for small game hunting. Now, the model is fantastic, even though we don't really spend a lot of time looking at the ammunition, I think they've done a fantastic job and I think just the fact that we've got three variations of the 22 ammunition is brilliant. Gives us the opportunity to use the correct ammunition for whatever we want to do. Then we got this. It's your time to ask us a question or two. Just keep in mind the most upvoted one will be answered. So we've got a call out to Q&A number nine. The link to their Facebook page is in the description. So just click on that, go down there and drop your questions down in the comments for this post. Maybe it will be yours that's going to get answered. Now that is everything they posted on Facebook. However, we do have a lovely sneaky little thing that came through on Discord. And before we get onto that, why not hit the following buttons? Like, subscribe and the notification bell. Now I want to give a massive shout out to Teddy Bear who is an absolute legend. Every single time that there is a post on Discord that I somehow miss because of the millions of messages that go through, they are absolutely certain to let me know about it and share it with me. So Teddy Bear, thank you very very much. I truly appreciate it. Now this is what we got on Discord. Short little video clip that shows the animation of the Cape Buffalo. And I think they did a really good job. Obviously this is recorded using a handheld camera, but great job. I have got absolutely no complaints about it. The head bob, the leg movements, the body movements, seeing the muscles moving. I cannot wait to see the final product. But folks, that is all we got for this week. I hope that your week has been incredible and that the week to come is 10 times better. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next video.